Well, hello, and welcome back to my FTB series. Um, I've just actually just got back. Uh, I've just uh, been sorting out some of the stuff I've mined. Um, I've, you know, mined quite a lot of stuff, but the most thing I'm more or less most happy about is the diamonds I've got. I've got 16 diamonds. Uh, I wasn't having, more, having much luck to start with, um, but then I think last last bit before my mining laser about to run out, um, I actually found some, so... I, that made the trip really worthwhile. Uh, I've just finished charging my lap pack back up. And yeah, so I think I'm going to process some of that ore now. Just for the fact that it's there. So, what do we need? So, we've got iron, copper, silver. Uh, we'll get the gold, copper, tin. Let's get some of these done. Um, don't really need to do that much anyway. So, let's put through. So, stick copper in. Ferris, silver, tin, and then we just gotta wait for that to go through. Um, ooh, I actually turned this off. That one? There we go. Now I'll deposit into there, and then that'll deposit into the chest. That makes it more worthwhile that way. Just need this to finish off, drain out, and then we can put in the gold. There we go. Right, so there is a few things I want to do. Uh, one, if you look at my levels bar, I am actually 38 levels. Now, I do want to make an enchantment table, but I don't believe I have any obsidian. Uh, I don't think so. Oh no, I do. Sweet. That's one thing we can do. Uh, we've got plenty of bookshelves as well. So, uh, do, 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 books, shall I say? Not bookshelves. There's my books. Oh, we've got plenty of them. If you ever need any more, I can always nip, down, nip back down to that stronghold as well. So, enchanting table, enchanting table. How the hell do you make one of them? I should remember this by now. I think it's like this. Ah, there we go. Wow, I do remember. That's kind of nice. Um, well, I need to keep the diamonds on me for now. Uh, put the obsidian back. Chamber table now. Need to load a bookshelf. Do I have any wood? <laughs> Don't think I have that much wood left. Oh no, maybe I do. All right then. Let's get a few stacks of them. Um, I think wood is no. Oh. You only need 15 bookshelves, so this will kind of make it a bit easier. That'll do. Kind of handy when you only need that many. And for now, uh, where do I want to put this? I just want to get quickly enchanted and sorted. So I'm just going to put it in a nice little quick spot, and we can go from there. So. Hmm, I really should have picked our place. I don't want it too far off from my home, but I don't want it too close. I don't know why I don't want it too close, just that, just that thing where I just want it a bit of distance away. Um, you know what, I'll just put it in the room for now, which is actually unoccupied at the moment. This one over here, one known area, and I'll just put it in here. Uh, oh, I really need to fix that hole there. I'm trying to think. Bookshelf, bookshelves. Put them here. Um. Where would the enchanting table go? We go here, won't it? Like that. I think that'll work. And right, let's just put a few more lying around like that. So that's our 15 um, strong enchantment table, so that actually should take us to level 30 now. It should. Is it 15 you need, or is it more now? I can't remember. I should be 15, but it doesn't seem to be working. Let me go grab some more. Bookshelf, bookshelves. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> anyway, it's always sometimes always better to overdo it than uh, not do it enough. Yes, three more should, uh, should do it. Right, again, let's try. Still 24. Hmm. Does it not pull from the top box? Maybe I need to put some more on here. Put some more on this side. Hmm, very strange. I would have thought that would have worked in a... Uh, I, I, I'm trying to think how it works now, because the mechanics have changed slightly um, as well, including for vanilla, so... 
been that long since I've made one. Uh, yeah, I'll do. I put one here. Here. Should now let me up to 30. 28. God damn it. Uh, this is going to turn a bit silly. <laughs> I'll want to do with Becca bookshelf so I can enchant stuff. Right, now this should get me to 30. Please? <laughs> yes, there we go. Now, do I want to use this pickaxe? Hmm, interesting idea on that. It's already partly worn down. I'm not sure if I want to use it or not. Hmm, eh, why not? So, wish me luck. Eh, fish is unbreaking. That's uh, not not bad, that. I uh, I'll mine even faster and won't break as much, so that's actually quite worthwhile. I don't mind that. Uh, so, we've got a nice pick. Um, the other item I want to get on to make today is a drill. Um, now, this can be upgraded into a diamond drill, and there's actually an advanced version of it as well. I think that just holds more EU charge, uh, by the looks of it. Uh, but to just make a regular drill, we need an electric circuit, refined iron, and an RE battery. Now, I do have a battery laying around, I do believe. Already. Yeah, there's a battery there. Um, and we need some more. I remember. Refined iron, where are you? Oh, so many irons. There it is. Refined iron. We'll need some copper. And I'm pretty sure I had the rubber on me. Maybe my backpack. There we go. So let's get this drill made. Now the cool thing about the drill is if you don't have a diamond pick on you and you upgrade it to a diamond drill, it basically is equivalent to a diamond um, diamond pickaxe basically. So it can mine obsidian, but the mining laser can't. Um, I'm not sure if that's just for balance reasons or some of a particular kind of reason, but oh damn, I don't have any redstone. But yeah, you can use the mining laser to mine obsidian. Um, got a nice bit of sizable chunk, and I've got three stacks of redstone as well, so I should be running out of this anytime soon. Well, saying that, probably will do. Right, so that's our re battery, and then refined iron around, I guess, is our mining drill. Then all you need to do to advance it up is just put some, some diamonds around it, like that. Three diamonds equivalent to a diamond pickaxe, and now we have our diamond drill. Nice and cool. So, and this can be charged up in the, I think, any storage device, but including the bat box, so if we stick it in there. There we go. And what's the advanced one? Is that, um, ah, overclocker upgrades. And, uh, yeah, we won't do that. <laughs> um, so there's our nice little uh, collection there going. And it's getting dark, so we'll just head to sleep. Now, what would the other thing I want to do? Uh, I had ideas in my head, and now that I'm recording, it's completely gone, um, which is not helpful. Um, ah, I do want to upgrade this um, little system here. Now, to do that, um, we're going to need one of two things. Um, oh, hello. We need another MFE. Which, you know, we, not D, DMFE. <laughs> Another MFE. So. Stupid Enderman. So we need some more redstone. You know, I'm already burning through these diamonds, I've only just got recently got them. I might have a trip soon. So I need four of these again. One. Two, three, four. Need those gold copper cables. Wherever they are. There they are. Oop. We need the machine block from the refined iron. So, machine block in the middle. The energy crystals on the outside. Then again, if you've seen this before, you can just skip forward. <laughs> but, yeah, there we go. MFE, second one. Now the reason for this is, ooh, actually I need a LV transformer now. Uh, 
Ah, right, that's how you do it. Which is some wood, some copper, and some wires. Right, I'll put those wires away now, or do I have to make some? There's the copper. Simple enough to make. Copper, copper, uh, wire. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. And that gets us our LV transformer. Now, what this will do is because the MFE outputs 128 EU per tick, if we don't downgrade it, it'll actually blow any machines up in that line. So, it'll probably just blow everything up. So, we don't want to do that. Um, so, how to replace this? Because we want to get rid of some of these. How do we want to do this? We'll disconnect this power, just so it doesn't get any more power. And now, uh, oof, I'm in brain freeze there. Moment again. So I need my wrench. That's what I need. I get my proton wrench here. Smack this. Get rid of it. Well, not get rid of it, but you know. And now we need the transformer. I'm going to put that down. Like that. So, the... Should I get rid of this part? If you can tell by the three dots, this means the... You have to point these three dots up, so that means this is where... Um, it, it's kind of weird, the system, I don't get it. Blue means this is where the l lower voltage is going to come out, and the three dots means this is where the higher voltage is. So, Five of the faces of the low, low voltage transformer equals 32 EU per tick. This, however, equals 128. So this is where you need to put input the uh, this little circle here from the MFE into this device. So we want to put this down like that, and this is going to be facing the wrong way. We want to shift click on the top lock, and this should face it down now. Now, if we get rid of this part, you can see there's no you know, no circle there, and there should be no circles on the side, so this should be facing down now. And the perfect way to find this out is to connect these two wires up here. Now, one thing to use is don't use copper cable when you're trying to uh, transmit power from a MFE to a, another MFE when you haven't downgraded it, because basically what would happen is if I do this, get it up, oh, boom. You, the copper cable base is fry. I thought I'd show you that just for demonstration purposes. So what we need to do is use cables like this. So what I want to do is drain the power out. So I wanted to drain all this power into here. And then we're going to move this MFE, which is draining out slowly, in, on top of this one. And then we have a double MFE. So then we have 120, oh, was that 1.2 million EU of storage then? Equivalent wise. Oh, 1200,000. No, not 1200,000. Yeah, 1.2 million. We'll just go like that. I don't like the American way. <laughs> we say 1200, they say 1200. So it's like, okay. I guess it does make sense whichever way. Um, so, while we're waiting for that to happen anyway, uh, we'll just get rid of these copper cables. I oh, know, we'll actually need them there. Silly me. We'll need to get rid of this bat box here. Um, what we can do is just transfer. Oh, actually, I need to unhook that as well. Um, so let's break through this box here. Is it here? There it is. Just need to sever this link for now. So we don't want no more power going into it when we transfer it around. Ooh. Alright, so let's do have a check on my little lava pump because I want to see how it's going along. Ooh, here we are. So that's stopped working now. Uh, that's not pumping out any power, so what we do is whack it with a wrench. And that should now make it work. It's basically what it what happened. Ooh, no, that way. What happened was it stored up too much energy and then it overheats because it had nowhere to send the energy. So say this because basically this magma, magma engine produces far too much power quickly for this than this liquid transfer we can actually use. So then the uh, magma engine just 
you know, says, what, well, I'm not going to work anymore, I'm just going to completely die. So you've got to come over and whack out your wrench. Where did the holes come from? Okay, we're doing quite well, let's have a look outside for a minute. Yeah, you can see, just by looking all the way over there, we're actually slowly pumping out all the lava. Well, I'm happy with that. So, let's head back to the other world, and they should start working again. So I noticed earlier it wasn't actually working. That's probably why. Let's have a look. We should now be getting all these... Yep, there we are. Slowly and slowly getting pumped out. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, and my oil, by the looks of it, looks like it's filled up. Nice. Let's have a look. Probably doesn't mean I've pumped all the oil out, it just means I've um, just full up. Uh, so we'll have a little check here. Yeah. Don't think we've used all the oil. I think I can still see more down there actually. The cool thing after we've finished with this oil well and there's no more oil, um, I can actually jump down that hole and go mining. So that's another cool feature about one of them. It's basically a free, you know, little mine shaft there. Um, and right at the bottom there's a massive circular um, area which basically they're all sat in. And you know, there should be some resources down there. I'm hoping it goes all the way down to bedrock because I might find some diamonds. Um, hopefully. So is this transferred out? Nearly all transferred out. It's almost there. But then what we're going to do is stick this MFE on top of this one and then send the power round again and then it'll drain this one and then get rid of this then we don't need it anymore oh, well actually I might keep it there um, I'm trying to think because I haven't upgraded to fiber cables yet uh, these copper cables do lose power over distance over time so I may just leave it there for now until I upgrade to fiber oh, um, how many times have we got? can I uh... because there is different kind of cables uh, if I just have a look. Um, these are the cables down here. You've got your copper, which is your, like your tier 1. Uh, you got your gold, which is for high voltage or medium voltage. And then you got your fiber optic glass fiber, which is I'd say the top tier, but then I think there's some uh, other ones as well. There's the high voltage cable, and I think, what is that? Is that, is that this? Ah, that's iron, so that's the top tier as well. But that's for more carrying like the really massive amounts of power. Um, I guess we could use these diamonds. I don't think I need them for anything else for now. So what do we need for the fibre, is it? Now there's two ways you can do this. You can use glass, um, redstone and diamonds, or if you want to get more you can use silver and you get six. Um, so I think using the silver is probably more worthwhile. So if we actually find what the silver is... Silver, silver, silver. Uh, just grab a stack of it. Do I have glass on me? I don't. So let's find where the glass is there. Let's make some glass fibre, shall we? That's as many as I can make anyway, so at least it'll get me 12 for now. Oop, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> Derp. That'll get me 12, so I think that'll be able so I can uh, put all this power around. Eventually when I get enough diamonds and I get a quarry going, um, which is another, uh, which is actually from Buildcraft, I've got to say. Um, I'm going to say from IC2, it's not. That's done, so we can now get rid of that. So we want to move that. Again, we want to try and. Uh, well, there's no real way to actually do this, so we'll just do that. And we will have to do the whole shift click on top. And this would actually start outputting power into this one when this gets used, so we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave that one there for now. Um, because I don't really have enough carbon fibre at the moment. So. Put this back down. So this should start uh, draining its power into this. And then when this loses power, it should start running into that. So that's that. So we've got the power room coming on nicely. Uh, we've got the red power two here. We've got IC two here, and there's actually a few others as well. But for now, we're just them. Like I said, there's the thermal expansion as well power. But oh, is that done? Ah, that's kind of cool. Better use a bit of power though. 
So, where are we now? Uh, back to sleep again. Well, let me have a look how much time we have left in recording wise, and it will determine what I actually do next part. If we actually do are running over time now, then this might be the end, so I'll probably end up coming back saying, alright, this is going to be it. Anyway, uh, I'll be back in two seconds. Ah, here we are again. Uh, got about ten minutes. So, what I'm going to do, and I think I said this like about four or five episodes back, I did one a sorting system, and I did say, I think we're like episode six. Oh, we're going to get building an AA sorting system next episode. I think I said that. I can't remember. Then I, I think we got sidetracked by a few bits and pieces where I didn't have certain machines and items. But I think today we can actually make the sorting machines and then next episode, uh, I'm not going to promise it because I'll probably get sidetracked with something else again or forget and then actually do something else. But, you know, we will get into making a sorting system at some point which will actually automate our items. Um, so, for now, we need to grab all these, so I need some red dirt wafers. Now, what do I need? I need two pistons to start with. These are the first items I need, so grab two pistons. And then with the two pistons, we need some cobble cobblestone and red dirt wafer and gold. Surrounded by the piston. Well, in the pi well, piston surrounded by them. So, grab two of them. Um, let's say gold to either side, and then some cobblestone. And this should get us our fillers. Now this filter is required for the sorting machine, so we need the filter in the middle, the iron, and the blue aloe ingots, so that goes there, that goes there, um, the iron, is it iron all the way around? I think it would like that. Oh well, we'll find out. <laughs> there we go, so we've got two sorting machines, wow that was actually quite quick. Yeah. Um, another few items I need is one called a relay. Now, I, I will explain these next episode, but I'll just say I'm going to need these machines at some point. Um, so what I need is a buffer, which is iron bars and some wood. I'm trying to think how many I need. Uh, probably going to need to make six, to be honest. Um, we'll see how many. So get 20, uh, 32 of these. I'm all in the corners, and then we need the wood. I guess there's our six buffers, just enough. And then we need our transposer, which again is pistons, so we've got to need plenty of them. Piston plan, where are you? Oh, wow, just enough. Six of them. And then we need to turn them into transposers, which is a bit registered in the bottom, cobblestone and wood. I think I'm going to run out of cobblestone anyway, so let's grab some of them. Stick them in there. Um, stick the pistons. What is it? Wood, wood, wood. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong part. Cobble, cobble, wood. So, wood either side. Bit of redstone at the bottom, and cobblestone the rest of the way. And... This will get our transposers, we need six of them. And then we combine all this with some red dirt waves and some cobblestone. Cobblestone at the bottom, a transposer, buffer, red dirt wafer, and more, um, more cobblestone? No, wood. Wood. And then get six of them. Yay, sweet. So, we've got all our machines. We've got the two site machines, the relays. And now I've made a complete mess of my entire book out, so I'm just going to grab all these back out. Uh, leave them in because they're probably the most annoying thing ever, especially when you need to make them. So, um, do I need anything else? Do I have pneumatic tubes? I do. I have plenty of pneumatic tubes. There. I'm just trying to make think I've got everything ready for next episode. Um, but one thing I do want to do is clear this entire room out and start from scratch. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, the reason for that is... Well, let's just say... Uh, this is going to be where all my items are going to get sorted into, so... I'm not sure how many chests we're going to need. I'm probably not going to have to upgrade most of like iron and gold chests. Uh, but... I'd have to rename everything. So this entire room is going to change between this episode and next episode. Because I just want to get this sorted out and ready. Um, I don't think I'll have the items automatically put into the right chest. I think I want to use the sorting machine for that. 
but for now I think what I'm going to do is have to put all the items into a chest downstairs and then have them automatically when I get the sorting machine built obviously um, filter across and put into each one of these machines so that's going to be interesting and fun on its own and the cool thing about pneumatic tubes is we get red power too I can actually use covers for them so I can actually have a nice little system for them so we can get into that as well so for now what I need to do is just check out here and uh, I'm just going to have a little look round oh yeah I need to recover this back up sort of <laughs> ooh and I need to reattach the power that would be another idea boom and then these old geothermals should start burning away look at that go all burning power and all making them vomit um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the oil yet at some point I do want to get into building some uh, refineries but they require four diamonds per each refinery so and I probably want at least two which um, I need eight diamonds and I only have five so I'm going to have to do another mining trip unless I use the equivalent exchange and you know, use gold for diamonds but I think this is how the order is going to be for now um, I'm going to do the sorting system and then get the refinery going and then after that I may do a quarry but then again I may switch the quarry and the refinery system around maybe the quarry first because the quarry is an automated system that let, allows you to be able to um, well, it digs up items for you uh, from an area so I may do that so oh, I'll, when I get to that part I'll do it but I know next episode of sorting that's definitely that's down um, I'll say 100% promised, but no, I'm not going to have to say that's what I want to do, and this is what I'm probably going to do. But for now, I'm going to put all these away, and hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, made a few more, changed the power system slightly, so we've got even more storage power. So once this is all filled up, we have 1.2 million EU, so then we shouldn't run out even if our lava runs out. But if it runs out in the never, I will be impressed. And... Yeah, we've made some stuff for the sorting machine for the next episode. I was so going to say tomorrow then. <laughs> tomorrow? Hmm, well, we'll see. Um, and I'm probably going to have to do another mining trip and then sort out this room. So, until then, I'll catch you all later. Please rate and subscribe. And one thing I do actually have to say is I've got to thank all my subscribers at the moment. I know I don't have that many. But, you know, all the subscribers really mean a lot to me, and, you know, thanks for subscribing, and, you know, thanks for watching and staying with me. I know at times I've not really been very consistent with my videos, putting them out. Um, at times I've been kind of lazy, <laughs> to be honest, or, you know, work's going the way, but i like to thank you for sticking by and, you know, continue to support me. Um, you know, without you, well, why would I be doing this? So, again, thank you very much. But anyway, apart from that little sloppy note, uh, I will catch you all later. So, goodbye.